Welcome to the training video for how to keep a food record. Thank you for participating. This nutrition study is a master's degree thesis project for a graduate student through Eastern Michigan University. The goal is to compare intake between adults and children of a variety of food ingredients to better understand typical eating patterns in average Americans. It's important for you to know that the information you submit to us will always be anonymous. Your name, address, or any other identifying information will not be connected in any way to the profile and food record that you create. In fact, we won't even ask you for this type of information. You'll create your own login name for access to the website. Participants only have access to their own records and data. The researchers will see your data as a code number assigned to you when you choose a login name. And then we'll be able to look at the information, but we won't be able to see who wrote it. What is a food record? It's a written record of everything you or the child eats and drinks through the whole day and is the most accurate way to do research on food intake. Writing things down tends to be more accurate than relying on your memory alone. How many days? You'll need to keep a food record of any five days of your choice over the next few weeks. This will include any three weekdays, Monday through Friday, and any two weekend days, Saturday or Sunday. Having this mix of days ensures more accuracy in the dietary analysis. What will the food record look like? This is an example of a completed record. You'll fill in the date, the type of food eaten, the brand name and flavor variety, and amount of food eaten. We'll discuss how to do this in a minute. What things are included? Basically everything you or your child eats or drinks. This would include all of your meals and snacks, beverages, gum, mints, candy, cough drops, medicine, vitamins, or supplements. What about sick days? If you or the child are sick and not eating normally, then it is best to skip that day and choose a different day to record what is eaten. It's important that the food record reflect a day of normal eating. What about special days? Birthday parties or family gatherings are special days, and these days are fine to record as long as you're eating normally and not skipping meals. Some important things to remember are to please be as accurate as you can, and please be honest. Keep in mind that the quality of the research depends upon accurate food records. You are helping us understand what real people eat every day. So how do you fill in the chart? The first step is to write down what is eaten throughout the day. You can carry a blank form in your pocket with a small pencil and make notes at mealtimes. The blank forms are available for you to print out on the website under the tab Sample Food Record. If you have an iPhone or a smartphone, you could take pictures with your phone, use your phone to send a written or spoken memo to your email, or use your phone to access the website directly. Whichever method you use, the most important thing is to record the information throughout the day rather than trying to remember it all at the end of the day. Sometimes our memories aren't as accurate as we would like. It's much easier to keep track as you go. Here is a sample food record. The participant wrote in the date that the record was done. The general name of the food was listed, take applesauce for example, as well as the brand name and flavor. She wrote in Mott's and Mixed Berry. Also, she put in how much was eaten, half a cup, which is the amount that is in one of those small applesauce cups with the foil top. Remember that if you dish up a whole cup, but you only eat two bites, the amount you would record are those two bites. Do your best to estimate the amount. Step two, use your written page, pictures, or notes to fill out the record on the website. First, you would go to www.foodsurveytckids.com and under the Survey tab, click on Returning Visitors. This way, you won't have to go through the initial qualification process all over again. You'll log in with your username that you created and you'll fill in the chart starting with Day 1. When you're done putting all of the data for that day onto the food record, Scroll to the bottom and click Next, and then you can exit the website and your information will be saved. Then you can return at another time or day 
to the same page on foodsurveytckids.com, go back to the survey tab, click on returning visitors, and use your login ID to pick up where you left off. Once you submit all of your completed food records, you'll be eligible to receive a thank you gift of some coupons from local businesses. These can be picked up at designated locations, or you can contact us to arrange a more convenient delivery. You will also be entered in a drawing for Lunch for Two at Amical Restaurant in Traverse City. The winner will be randomly selected among all participants and will be notified upon completion of their survey process. You'll receive more information on these items once you've completed all five days of the survey. If you have any further questions about the study or how to complete the food record, please feel free to contact us at foodsurveytckids at hotmail.com. We'll respond promptly. You can now go to the sample food record tab on your home page if you want to print out blank food record forms for keeping notes throughout the day. If you're ready to begin recording day one of your food record to the database on the website, you can go to the home page, click on the survey tab, click on returning visitors, and log in with the username you created. Thank you so much for your participation. The information you provide is greatly appreciated.